Dear President Biden, Vice President Harris, and members of the 117th Congress, you are all too aware that we stand at a critically important moment in the life of our country. You have accepted your calling to help move us forward, to embolden our nation to achieve the greater good for our citizens and for all who live within our borders. You also know that it is time to face our future with the world. We can do so, burnished with hope in the goodness of creation and humanity as fashioned by our divine creator, as we're told in Genesis chapter 1, verse 31, and we can do so with courage to do all of our work with a standard of justice faithful to that judge of all the earth. God's title in Genesis chapter 18, verse 25. It was this title for God that Abraham used in their conversation over the fate of Sodom and Gomorrah. After a vigorous exchange, God and Abraham arrived at a tipping point of 10 righteous persons, which they agreed upon as the minimum number for deciding between divine mercy for the innocent and divine justice for the wicked. Genesis chapter 18, verse 32. However, in the story, God goes beyond this either or choice, exercising mercy for the less than 10 innocents and delivering justice for the others. As a nation, our challenge too is to find our way to both real justice and real mercy. President Biden, I reserve a word for you as a fellow Roman Catholic. You are trying to do your best to serve God in the world. We know we were made by our Creator to serve and to love. We are aware of the Church's mostly non-infallible teachings, from which we sometimes must and may in good conscience dissent in according with Church teaching. We know that it is before God that we are ultimately standing. We also know that God knows our hearts and our pains, our struggles and our losses. Yet we also know that we are galvanized by God's exceeding love for us. May you and all who serve in government be galvanized by God's love and by the powerful good of our deepest aspirations for America. With hope, I am Mark S. Smith, Helena Professor of Old Testament Literature and Exegesis, Princeton Theological Seminary, and Skirball Professor Emeritus of Bible and Ancient Near Eastern Studies, New York University. <laughs>